And we're back. Yeah. During the break, we were talking about how, you know, for anime in Japan, they use pop idols. Yeah, why know, here they don't. But in, in America, they don't. And we were just imagining what it would actually be like to have, you know, like your top artist in the United States doing theme songs for cartoons in the United States. Yeah, like Slipknot does theme songs for, like, Snorks and yeah. shit like that. Come and swim with the Snorks. <laughs> <laughs> And blade. <laughs> <laughs> or they even have Death Clock do a few things, you know? Death Clock's not exactly in, like, American. But maybe they are. Uh, maybe the explosion is. Yeah. And Mur William Murderface, Murderface, Murderface. Murderface. <laughs> so, yeah, we get easily amused, apparently. Yeah, we do. Just thinking about it. I was trying to think of who else would be good. <laughs> oh, who, who, who's the twerk monster? Um, what's her name? Oh, Miley Cyrus. Miley, Miley Cyrus doing a song for... <laughs> these always look so freaking weird. What, these things? Yeah. The Nereid? Yeah, the Nereid. Well, they die really quick because, hey, guess what? I'm over level for this. Technically, I should have gone through this way back when I was here before, but I was too drunk. And I never usually do go through here. Oh yeah, these two. I I wish they'd have called these two Abbott and Con Costello. That or what? Where we go? Where we go tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, same thing we do every night, Pinky. <laughs> Try to take over the world. Narf. <laughs> Narf. Narf. Now, was he saying Narf or Narf? Narf. N-A-R. I know, I know. <laughs> Say Narf. <laughs> Narf. Hide the blow, man. Narf. Narf. He was stupid for a reason. Yeah. If you know what's good for you here... Don't touch you, the cat. Don't touch the kitty. All he's saying, it's all over. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. It's all over, man. I'd rather have my gum scraped than have to fight these fiends. Wow, man, that's pretty desperate. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Don't kick the can. Don't kick the can. Unfortunately, this piece of cheesecake's blocking my way. Aha! I stuck <laughs> by it. Don't save. That also kicks off a fight. What did I say I needed levels? <laughs> what levels? Yeah, it's true. And here, I'm not getting much experience to start with, so... Hey, I remembered to unlock the door. I've gone before and not unlocked the door. Now if I can just remember how we uh, kick off the bridge. Oh, that's right. You sneak around back. It's more frog on frog action. Flip it, skip. <laughs> what kind of frog can't jump? White frogs. <laughs> White frogs. <laughs> They're kind of a yellowish, creamish color, don't you think? White frogs can't jump. <laughs> boo! What? You asked for that one. I did. <laughs> Still, boo! Oh, this thing. Sir Crawley. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I clap! I clap! It's a bad case of the clap. Uh -oh. <laughs> It even spurts when he hits it. Oh! What do you think? One hit wonder? Nah. Yeah. I know. Oh yeah. I'm oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He he gets it after he humps me into the ground a few times <laughs> with his big whatever. Oh, ow! Hey. Oh yeah, that did, that did do that. Retaliation. Take that. One hit wonder. Yep. Fortunately, now I gotta heal. Oh no, that's gonna take so much. Hey, it's valuable magic points, man. Or potions, or whatever the hell I wanna use. It's medicinal points. Medicinal points? <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a card for that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a point about this one. How the hell else do they get an MP? <laughs> I know they drink a potion. Who was in that potion? 
I think there's a game theory about this. <laughs> really? I think there is. I, I've been watching that channel a little bit lately. He's had some very interesting viewpoints, like this game, for example. Um, made some very interesting points on that. It's like, hey, Chrono's Jesus. <laughs> well, you never see his father. You know, it's just the mom. Was it Immaculate Conception? Well, I know. You know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, no, going back to the medicinal points, I mean... I mean, it could really well be. I guess. I mean, you know, usually you just equate it with magic points because it's M. But you never know. But what do they call it in Japan? Magical. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like licky licky. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be an upgrade. Wouldn't it be like Magikuru or something like that? Something like that, because they can't end on a hard consonant. And it, is it MP over there, too? Well, I'm sure it is. I mean, I don't read kanji very well, but... I'm trying to learn to read kanji. Are you reading... Wait, are you learning kanji le or katakara? No, katakara. Kata katakana? Yeah, katakana. katakana, hiragana, and kanji. Yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to learn all three. I'm sure it's there, and I'm just not... There it is. I was like, I, I know it's there, I'm just not seeing it. I think I just need to open the door. Yeah. And he comes over, he's like, Whoa! Hey, congratulations, protocol engaged. I never figured out, so are these things robots or what? I'm not sure. I mean, in this particular case, the guy um, downloads his consciousness into it. So it's like a living doll, I guess you could say. Okay. Not real doll, though, is it? <laughs> hey, I, I'm not gonna say what happened back in 10,000 BC. I, mean, <laughs> I wasn't there to actually experience it, but. Yes, the wings of time. Can I fit DeLorean in the text here? I think I can. I think everything's like five letters. Uh huh. For a time machine. Delivery. Oh yeah, I don't know, but. Hey, this thing. Oh, that's right. I had to go off to the side of it, not the front of it. So you go through the flesh. He's all good. Yeah, Duh, it's a fail on my part. By the way, I was going through my games and I found I did have Star Ocean Three. Huh? I do have Star Ocean Three. Oh, I have it too. Okay. And I have Star Ocean 4. See, we need to get the Super Famicom so we can play Star Ocean 1. Actually, that was an old PS1 title. It, they had PS, on PS2? Huh? It was on PS? Yeah, it was on P PS1. I think the first two were on It was on the Famicom, too. Well, I just remember because I did play the first one and I had a pretty damn funny story about that game. Uh oh. The first Star Ocean? Went through the whole game, no problem, you know. I got to the end, and, and you know how you can put yourself in practice mode? Yeah. So I did that to in the final dungeon uh -huh. to just gain some extra levels, you know, and then realize, hey, this goes over 100. <laughs> for, or over 99, because, you know, we're used to RPGs counting yeah. at 99, right? Well, this one went up, started going over 100, so I stayed in practice mode and, and probably grinded out to about 120. And I go to fight the final boss, and he kicks my ass. Multiple times, and I can't figure it out for the life of me. Why? Well, then we have to do a redemption. Well, no. I figured it out. Oh. I was in practice mode taking on the final boss. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> so the second I took it off, I owned him. It wasn't even close. <laughs> but, uh... I remember my favorite thing in that game was when, when your allies died, your main character would get all pissed off. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Another game that I would love to get my hands on just for the fun of it... What's up? Um, ...would be uh, Thousand Arms. Okay. You never played that one, did you? It's RPG meets Dating Sim. Okay. It was freaking... Hilarious. Oh, I think you kind of told me about that. It is a hilarious game. 
hilarious game. Hilarious! Because you have to go on dates with the other people in your party, and depending on how much they like you, it, it changes things because your main character is a blacksmith. And the only way to upgrade your weapons is obviously by performing blacksmith. Well, part of blacksmithing is you have to have a, a partner with you who's casting something or other in order to like get it to work. Well, the only way you can increase the power of those casts is by going on dates with them, and the more they like you, the more powerful they're, they're whatever they're doing in this process is. And so you have to go on these dates with Holly. So you get to date like every female character. Wow. And it has to be female character. You can't go on dates with male characters, but I did not try before you ask. Okay. I should say, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Just putting it out there. I did not try to date the male characters. That's the cave we got locked out of. Hey guys, guess what? We're back. Now I think I go in the cave. Here. But yeah, there's other titles where I'll play on the family com, like uh, Tales of Fantasia, uh, Sit Tight to Sit Two Three, <laughs> which is Secret Nevada Two. Bless you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Secret Nevada Two was actually really badass. Was it? Yeah, and you got to pick your character, which changed the end boss at the end. You can choose from six characters. Okay. Also changed the story, too. Mm. And you find out, like, um, if you read the text right, you find out who the the main hero in the first one's dad is. Dude, hang on a second. This place is depressing me. This guy's just like, Ugh, I'm so down. I'm so depressed. I'm gray and brown. You guys are colorful, but I just don't care. The guy that writes like What's some crack. <laughs> hey, hey, I got the stuff. But anyway, all right, sorry. So, secret about it too. Um, you kind of find out who the main hero's dad is, who the girls' uh, dad are, you know, parents are. You know, oh, like you're, you, is it the same characters from the first one? There, it doesn't show the same characters, but okay. this is a prequel to it. Oh. So, so you actually get to find out more stuff about maybe like the main character's dad. It doesn't. It doesn't go too much into it, but you find out who his dad really is. His, okay. da his dad's name a knight named Durin that you can play, gotcha. and Durin kicks ass. Does he? Because they have different classes you can change to as well. Okay. You could become like a knight or a gladiator that attacks everybody on the screen at one time. Oh it's, wow! Like, yeah. We had to try it, dude. Yeah, it sounds like fun. I have to give that a shot if we can get our hands on a Famicom. Go to eBay. It's like sixty bucks. I know there's a reason I'm, I'm kind of like half paying attention to what I'm doing here. I thought there was somebody I had to talk to in here. Melchior? Well, so I'm trying to remember if I'm off to the floating mountain yet or if I need Shala here. But I've been in every door. Somebody's supposed to tell me that Shala is, like, comes around a lot. Just to bring some color to these guys' lives. Because they look so depressed. Just like, oh, it's another day. Living in a hole. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, these are going to be needed. Look, something better than the mass immune. Unfortunately, I need the critical. Yes, you do. Well, there's a reason for that. I do have a slight grinding point coming up here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need stuff in case out here shortly. Ooh, boy, this is expensive. This guy should not be broke. For what he's charging? You never know, future money might not be that much. Well, they've never seen the stuff that I'm sitting here going, Hey, yeah, this is money. <laughs> Sure! It's money. What, don't believe me? So, okay, if you had access to a time machine, would you go back in the past and get something that's, like, really worth something? Go to the future so it's worth more and sell it? Oh, hell no. I'd do the, uh... I would do the, um... That thing. That thing? That Back to the Future thing. Go get a sports book. Oh, future. Yes make a couple of bets. 
Yeah, but then you have bookies on your ass going, what the fuck's going on? Uh, you don't do them consistently. You just, you know, occasionally drop a bet. And I would maybe make some bad ones just to keep people, you know, from being suspicious. No, no, like you take stuff off the Titanic before it crashes. <laughs> take stuff off the Titanic <laughs> yeah. before it crashes? <laughs> yeah. And then you sell that shit later on. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just here. Yeah, it's like, I'm just going to take your cup right there, thanks. <laughs> if, if, if you don't mind, can I borrow this? I'll bring it right back. Promise. I'll pay you back tomorrow. <laughs> I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for your chalice today. <laughs> okay, Wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, next episode I figure out where the fuck I'm going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>